tips with old Genghis. Oh. Aren't you, Gandhi? Yeah, right. Funny, Tarek. Well, you got off the counter so I can clean it. Tarek, do as Chip you're told on. and let him clean it. You can start chipping these spuds. Oh. Haven't you two finished yet? Yeah, all right, Abdul. We're doing it. God, you're beginning to sound just like me dad. Yeah, he'll be kicking our heads in in a minute. Hey, oi, you! Oi, more buds than ever, can you? Get it done, all right, Mina. Hey, what time are we supposed to be going to Bradford tomorrow? Papa Sadiq's going to pick us up at nine. Are we all going? No, just us two. What, it's the first Sunday? We always go to Bradford on the first well, Sunday. Well, not this right. time. Ask me, Dad, if you can go instead of me, Gandhi. Last place I want to be this weekend is Braddy's Tarek, Bank. the spuds. No, I don't see why I should go meet more relatives. I'm related to half of Bradford as it is. <laughs> Ah, Abdul, go over to house, Sajid in a cold shed. Eh? Um, Dad, can I go to Bradford tomorrow as well? No, 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 you come with me to mosque here. We go to see Mullah. Abdul! What time's it, ma'am? It's five past seven. You better hurry up, you'll be late for work. It's all right, Steve's going to give us a lift on his bike. Oh, be careful on that thing. He's like a bloody madman on it. Did your dad say anything to you the other day about Bradford? No, just asked who was at Jahan Khan's. Did he mention anything about Mr Shah? No, nothing. They don't live in Bradford. I know. Did anyone there mention the Shahs? Why? What's going on, ma'am? Uh, he's just told me he's going to get you and Tarek engaged. You what? To the Shah's daughters. Well, why didn't he say out to me? He's only just told me. Well, all he talked about last night was being a good Muslim and the trouble in East Pakistan. He said nothing about getting me bloody married. Well, I don't know. Perhaps he thought you might do a runner like Nazir. Why is it always Nazir? I am not Nazir. Why does he never trust me, ma'am? He makes decisions about my life as if he owned it. He thinks he does. Well, why didn't you say something to him? What makes you think he's going to start listening to me? I don't want to talk about this now. I'm going to work. Abdul! Oh, I don't believe this bleeding family. Tarek, Mania, Salim, Mina, Sajik, get up! If you're not up in five minutes, you're dead. <laughs> Doing out here on your own? The others are over there. Have you got any cold coffee left in your thermos? No, what are you doing down here on your own? Hey! You're gonna get married, aren't you? Who told you that? I heard. So's Tarek. But he said he's not gonna get married to Packy. Did he? Well, take no notice of him and don't call people packies. It's not nice. Have you seen when you watch? Abdul. Yeah. It's a bell to that, Saj. It's got Arabic writing on it. You can have it if you want. And my dad bought it for you. Why do you not want it? Can't tell the time. <laughs> I don't understand Arabic. What are you bleeding like, eh? I can teach you to do both if you like. Teach me how to tell time, but not Arabic. Yeah. Ah, ah, your hey, Saj, isn't it about time you got that parka washed? My mum keeps shouting at me because of it. Why'd you keep it on? I like it. I like chapatis, but I don't eat them 24 hours a day. <laughs> this is different. Why? It doesn't matter. Hey, go on, Saj. Tell us. Because... 
when it's all done up. I'm not there. And I don't have to listen to anyone arguing or shouting. Is that mad, Abdul? Nah, no, Sarge, it's not mad. We get lost, witch! A guest Go on up to the other, Sarge, go on. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, spoke to one as here on the phone. He said if my dad chucked us out, we could stay with I him. I don't want to live anywhere else. All right. So we both stay here and say no. Look, if we stick together, he can't do anything. There's no point, Tarek. He can do anything he likes. What do you mean no point? You can't just sit back and let this happen. I'm not like you, Tarek. I've never gone against you him. Mean you've let him walk all over you. No, I haven't. Well, come on, Abdul. I've been there. Remember, I swore then he would never treat me the way he treated me. Yeah, there you. were times I could have said something, Tarek, but I didn't. Why didn't you? You wouldn't understand. Try me. Because I... Because I want him to treat me like a proper son. I want him to trust me, to, to talk to me. I don't want to feel as if I'm some sort of investment for his future. So oh, come on, Abdul. He's never going to give a shit about how you feel or what you think. I am your father. You are my son. You do as I say, bus. That's not fucking trust. I don't know. Look, you've been told what to do all your life. All that respect crap. It's just brainwashing. Arnazir got away from it. And so can you. All right. All right, I'll see what I can do. But you better pack your bags, because as soon as we say anything, we'll be out. Nice one, Abdul. Hey. Welcome to the West. I wish I had a Parker. You what? Nothing. Let's go. What's wrong, Putter? Ishan, what's wrong with you? Pura. <laughs> 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 Where have you been? Steve said you left work hours ago. Manir came and told me about Salim. I went to the pub. You don't drink. It was going to be my first act of defiance. And my dad's right, it does make you sick, but not physically. 
Are you a bit pissed? Look. It's obvious my dad's not going to take any notice of us. So we should just go. Go. Go and do what? Live with Nazir. What happens then? I don't want to live without my family. You're just feeling bad about Salim. That wasn't our fault. Even Salim said that. That's been brewing for months. How can I not feel responsible for him? Or me man for that matter. Yeah, I suppose you heard about that. You heard he had a go He gave her a fucking good hiding. Auntie Annie came into work and told me because she knew me man wouldn't. So yes, I do feel responsible, Tarek. You know, it doesn't even bother me about getting married. I just wanted to be consulted. You've changed your tune. Thought you were going to tell me dad where to get I'm off. not listening, are you? Oh, shut up, Abdul, you're pathetic. No, you shut up, Tarek. You're right. You're right. I was pathetic tonight in the pub with the lads. We were sat there drinking, telling jokes, playing music, telling more jokes. Jokes about sex, thick Irish men, wog jokes, chink jokes, packy jokes. And the biggest joke was me, because I was laughing the hardest. And they laughed at me because I was laughing. And it seemed as if the whole pub was laughing at me. One giant grinning mouth. And I just sat there and I didn't belong. I was crying so bad. I couldn't catch my breath so I ran. And I just kept on running. And when I got home, my dad was here praying. And I watched him, Tariq. And it, it was right to be here. To be a part of this place. To belong to something. It's what I want. I know my dad will always be a problem, but I can handle that now. Perhaps I might make him change. But I don't want that out there. It's not who I am. It's as alien to me as my dad's world is to you. I suppose that's it then. He might be satisfied with just one of us getting married. Will you still leave? I don't want anyone hurt anymore. I'll think of something. Abdul. Yeah. I do understand, you know. More than you think. I can't do this, Ty. Well, hang on, I haven't got two pairs of hands. Abdul, fix Tarek's tie. Where is Salim? I said he was going to get his model. Ma'am, this tie's not right. Oh, come here. Let's have a look at you. You'll do. Go on, get lost. Right, Sajit, go upstairs and ask your dad to get me jewellery out of the safe. And take that bleeding Parker off! Abdul, will you get the posh cups out of the cabinet in the kitchen? I don't get why they can't just have mugs like everyone else. They only slurp it out the sauces. Well, if he does, don't look. I'm not having you laughing and showing me up. Right, Mina, veil on. Abdul Tariq, let's have a look at you. You'll do. <laughs> Mania! Dopey. I feel stupid in this! You look it! Shut! You're oh, gone! Oh, 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 hey, 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 you two fighting in that sari, I'll wipe the floor with both of you. Now go and get me some fags from Butterworth. I am not going out dressed like this! <laughs> Sajit, go and get me 20 park drive. Uh. You emptied that bath out yet, Mania? Yeah, can you get zinc poisoning from it, ma'am? 
Don't be so bloody stupid. I wish we had a proper one. That one's an half scratch your ass. Hey, gobshite, I've told you once, button it. We've got visitors. Ma'am, quick, the packies are here. Oh, Jesus sake, Abdul Muslim. Don't get over here. Oh, get in there. Hila. Hila. This is Mr. Shah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Would you care to go through to the parlour? <laughs> Why is she talking like that for? Uh, this is my son, Abdul. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hey, Tariq. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Manir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Hmm. Mina? Ah, oh, yes, this is my daughter, Mina. Ha ha ha, beto, beto, beto. Hey, sit down, boy, sit down. Would you bring in the tea, love? Righty ho! <laughs> Did you find it all right? Oh, yes, no problem. You have very nice family. Uh -huh. All boys, this is very good. God has blessed you. Well, I could have done without so much blessing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Lovely frames you have there. Oh, yes. Let me show you. These are my daughters. Nigget. <laughs> Yellow G. And Afzal John. <laughs> Deco. <laughs> well, they're quite hefty. Ah. The frames, I mean. Look, George. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> Which one's Tarek? Sit down, cock. Over there by the door. Very nice photo. Eh? Hey, where do you buy frames like this? We had them especially made for our girls. Gold leaf, you know. <laughs> I'll just go and get the biscuits. <laughs> do all your sons live at home? All except Nazir. He's the eldest. Are he a traveling salesman? No. Oh. Ah, and this must be your youngest. And how old are you? I'm not old enough to get married, so don't ask me. <laughs> Sergeant Putar, go see if Salim here yet. Oh, yes, Salim, your college student, the engineer, no? He's not. Huh? He's an artist. <laughs> I've got a picture. He means injury. engineer, oh, Mr. Shah, who paints engines. Sergeant, Salim, now. Sorry about that, Mr. Shah. He's, um, uh, he's just been circumcised. Indeed. Where's Mina with them biscuits? Shall I put the pictures of your daughters on the radio, Grand Mr. Shah? Oh, Tarek. Do you have any hobbies? Ah, only good ones. Eh? He likes to work in shop most times. Would you like a biscuit, Mr. Shah? Are, where did you get this sari? Me auntie Rifat in Pakistan. This is not what our girls wear. You should wear shalwar kameez. It would look much better on you than this thing. Her auntie Rifat said all women wear saris in Islamabad. And she's quite well to do. <laughs> Ain't she, George? <laughs> Rifat bloody stupid, huh? <laughs> Even in Pakistan, women getting too bloody modern. Ah, oh, it's the government people I blame. They should set an example to the country. I think it looks lovely. It's not traditional dress in Pakistan. A tradition, you see, Ella. You! Only me! <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had visitors. I won't stay long. Uh, Eddie, this is my friend, Mr. Shah. Hmm? His daughter is Gobi Mary Abdul and Tariq. Congratulations, Mr. Shah. <laughs> Are these them? <laughs> They look bleeding gorgeous. <laughs> Lucky pair, you two. 
Land in a couple of belters like that. Mm. Only working for me ever since we first got in shop, huh? I suppose you want tea now? Well, seeing as you've asked all bleeding politely, you will, eh? Uh, Mina, put the kettle on. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're lovely, then, Mr. Shaw. You must be very proud. <laughs> Belting frames as well. Gold leaf, you know. I do know. I've something similar myself from the dock. Would you like a biscuit? No, ta. Three bob a pair, they were. I've a view of Kinder Scout in one and a three-dimensional of Our Lady in the other. Oh, it looks belting, don't it, Ella? Mrs Khan. Call me Ella. Oh, everyone does. <laughs> Mrs Khan, I'm very proud that your sons are joining my family. I can see that you've brought them up to be very respectful, which is very difficult in this day and age. Oh, you're right there, Mr. Shah. They're a credit to her. And to you, George. Uh, oh, yes, they, they're good boys. They no bring her trouble. Eh? Oh, they'll do out for you, these two. Do you know, last Whitson, they carried the banner of the Sacred Heart at a moment's notice. <laughs> All the way from Regent Road, Town Hall and back. What banner is this? For the Wit Wit Walks. Abdul and Tarek on the banner. Celine Minian and Howard Clifford holding the ribbon from the model of the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, Sajet and Mina chucking petals about in front. Ella, what's he bloody talking about? Eh? Is this a religious ceremony? In a way, I suppose it was. But hardly anyone round here is religious. It's just a day out for kids and a new set of clothes. We just helped out that once. Lucky we were there, really. Brew up, Twitch! And get stuffed, you fat cow. I will stuff you, you little twat! <laughs> well, you've got to lend a helping hand, haven't you? I mean, that's how we brought them up. But this was not their religion. Well, that's what a couple of belters you're getting, Mr. Shah. They just jumped in there and gave help where help was needed. <laughs> Good Samaritans, they were. Just like in the Bible. Still a fat Go and see what they're up to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids, eh? <laughs> were you all two like this when they were younger? No, my wife was a schoolmistress. She always believed in firm discipline, especially in a non Pakistani environment. Oh, I think you can be too harsh. Don't you, Annie? Oh, aye. Mind you, our Peter knows how far he can go before I knock him into kingdom come. <laughs> oh, it's just me husband, Mr. Shah. Now, do you smoke, Mr. Shah? No, no, no. Hmm. Do you know, you could say that even in a Pakistani environment, you'd still need to know where to draw the line with them. Whereas with Ella and George, they didn't have that environment, did they? They had to find their own line here in Salford, in this area, among non-Pakistanis. But even without Pakistanis, they still have what you have as well, and done very well by it. Like what you've done. <laughs> hmm. Do you know they look just like you, Mr Shah? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she's right, Mr. Shah. Mm. They've got your eyebrows. I think there is a great preponderance placed on looks. A what, sorry? A ponderance. Ah. Uh, hey, what is the latest news from East Pakistan? Oh. Have you seen them pictures, though? God, the one in the red looked like she had a hairline that started from her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> At least yours had a neck. Our app does look like Smithy out the Bass Street kids. <laughs> <laughs> My mum said who with that tea. What's happening in there? If Dad's building up to the war, mm. it's bloody Indians, eh? Ah. Right, well, I better be going. Got to see the Undertaker about Scott's birth. Now, it's been very nice to meet you, Mr. Shah. And I'll see you later, George. See you later. General Yaya Khan will hold the country together. Oh, yes. Ah. He is the man for that, huh? Do your family come from Azad Kashmir, Mr. Shah? My wife's family. Mine are from Lahore. A beautiful city. Home of the arts in Pakistan. 
Have you ever been to Pakistan, Mrs. Khan? Never been asked. Oh, but you must go on holiday sometime. Spend two months at least. See the whole country. Yeah, well, we can only manage two weeks in real. And even then, George has to stay home and mind the shop. <laughs> really? Well, uh, Pakistan is very different to real. Yeah, right. It's got the sun for a start. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in England long, Mr. Shah? Since 1949. My wife studied here in London, but later returned home when my daughters were young. I don't think this is a fit society to bring up girls. Depends how you bring them up, I think. But you've only experienced boys, Mrs. Khan. I've got Mina as well, Mr. Shah. This is true, Mrs. Khan, but our girls are different. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, 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 this is true, huh? Eh? Hey, there's too much tickle tackle oh. go on, huh? Eh? You go up to town, all you bloody see is bloody Indian girls, all up to bloody tickle tackle with boys. Ah, this is the problem with our community. They don't realize what a great danger it is to leave our children to grow up in this country. I've been here since 1936. Oh. I'm telling you, no, even bloody English, same. Oh. What work did you do when you first came, Mr. Shah? Well, very degrading work, Mrs. Khan, I assure you. Very degrading. I was overqualified, see? First, I swept the floor in the mill. Then I worked on the buses. Now, I have four butcher shops, two cars, and a semi-detached house in Trafford Park. Really? With double extensions. Oh, how nice and roomy for you. Abdul, go and see where that tea is, will you, cock? My daughters both have their own bedrooms. With Axminster carpet. Nice. They have attached bathrooms with same carpet. My wife's idea. Uh, hmm. I've always found oil cloth better for the bathroom. Stops that smell of damp. Uh, we have bathrooms soon, I think. How do you manage with so little room and so many children, Mrs. Khan? It must be a bit of a squeeze. I've got three double beds and one single for Mina. <laughs> but uh, where do you propose to put my daughters? One in the attic. The other above the chippy with Abdul. But we have so much room at our house. It'd be a shame to waste it. Would it not be more convenient if your sons were to move in with us? Um, I thought the daughters-in-law moved in with their husband's family. <laughs> but uh, my daughters are used to modern conveniences. Perhaps when you get your bathroom fitted, they'd be able to move back. I'd have thought you'd be grateful for the extra space. I know I would be. But you don't know what you'd be getting yourself into, Mr. Shah. You've never experienced boys, have you? Sarge, go see if Salim's at Roy's. I better not let him back in the parlour. Mr. Shah thinks he's retarded. He is. Well, if Sajid can't scare him off, nothing will. Uh, you better hurry up and get changed. Mr. Shah's waiting to meet you. And if you're asked what you do at college, you're an engineer who paints engines. Now to do with me was twitch. You gobby little twat. Well, if I it then. But looks dead interesting, that doesn't it, Harry? Yeah, let's have a look at this great work of art, then. <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I'm not going to do anything with it, Abdul. It's an example of female exploitation in art. It looks disgusting. I wouldn't say that. It's perverted. Not even Twitch would do something like that. It's art, you pillow. Axminster, my arse. Oi, you, hurry up with that tea. Your dad's waiting for it. Abdul Tariq Parlour. Will you get changed? You should have been home half an hour ago, Sajid. Where'd you put me fad? I said I was going for me model. Yeah, well, show me later. I haven't got time now. He's got a woman's fanny in a box, man. <laughs> 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 you dirty little bastard. <laughs> Mum, it's art. I'll art you in a minute, you little sod. I'll burn the bleeding thing. Give it here. Art's changed, ma'am. Aye, and I'll change it some more when I get my hands on it. Give it me. No, ma'am. Let go, you're pulling all the air out, ma'am. Ma'am! 
Mr. Shah. I'm Salim, I'm an art student. Uh, engineer! Oh, that's it! What is this thing? Move it! Take it away from me! Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Shah. It was an accident. The hair came off in me out. <laughs> This is an insult to me and my family. How can you let your son behave this way? I will never let my daughters marry into this jungly family of half-breeds. They may be half-bred, but at least they're not inbred like these two months. Ella! Never mind, Ella. Who the frick do you think you are, coming here telling me my house isn't good enough for your daughters? Well, your daughters aren't good enough for my sons, or me house. And if I hear one more word about my family, I'll put that fanny over your bastard head. <laughs> How dare you speak to me like this? You stop now or I'm bloody killing you! I won't stay here a minute longer! Your wife is a disgrace! Oh, sling your bleeding up, go on, piss off. <laughs> and take Laurel and Bleeding Hardy with you. You bastard bitch. You insulting guest. You bringing shame on family. You ought to be ashamed, George. You're not marrying these lads off. You're selling them to the highest bidder. Who's going to get meaner? Someone with double glazing and a detached house. Oh, why you never bash that? No, 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 Sarge, stop it! I said stop it, Sarge! Just calm down, Dad! Calm down! All right? I'm only trying to help you, son. I don't want to bloody hurt you! I love my family! I have to stick up for family with when people are calling. Go on over to the shop. Go on. I'll see you in a bit. Ella. Man, don't cry. That wasn't your fault. Mania, go and make us some tea. You should have stopped him from hitting her, Abdul. Leave him out, Mr. Lee. Oh, couldn't hit me, Dad. Dad, that bastard's not a father. Don't about holding him back. You should have broken his what neck. I did or didn't do has got fuck all to do with you, Silly. Feeling guilty now, are you? I'm cracking him a lot of you. You get up and bleed his nerves. I can't do anything to please you. If it's not you, it's your dad. If it's not your, your dad, it's you. You're nothing but bleeding trouble. And Pablo bleeding Picasso. That bastard you've been talking about is my husband. And whatever you may think of him, he's still your father. So if I hear another foul mouth word from anyone, I love you. Now, where's Sadget? He's in the shed. He took his parker off, though. <laughs> hit me dad with it when he hit you. I don't believe it. I spent a year trying to get him out of that coat. Your dad hits me, he whips it off, tries to kill him with it. <laughs> well, I'll go and have a word with him. She's just going to leave it, isn't she? Well, do you expect her to do? She'll let him walk back in here after what he's done. Oh, well, he did after Nazir left, didn't he? So you're just going to sit there with your heads in the sand until it happens no again? No one's hiding. Me mum's just trying to hold her family together. Family? This isn't a family. Normal families sit down and talk. We say one thing out of line, my dad hits us and that's it. It's not as simple as that and you know she it. She should divorce You're him. all missing the point. Have you not thought that she might love him? My dad. <laughs> what else do you think has kept them together for so long? We're the cause of most of the arguments between them because she always takes our side. What do we do now, Abdul? Try and make things easier for her. Don't make a job any harder than it is. It's me dad that's going to have to change. He was only trying to show us our culture. He's got no right to tell us what our culture should be. He lost that when he settled here and married me ma'am. God, Abdul, you sound that different. Say that when you get married, off. That's not going to happen to her. Look, it's not going to happen to anyone who doesn't want it. 
I'm telling you, things are going to be different round here. Okay, now. He's all yours. I'm going to go over and see your dad in a bit. We've got to talk. Will you come with me? Of course I will. Thanks for sticking up for us, man. Go on, you big daft get. Go and take him his coat. <laughs> Sarge, you still in there? And get stuff. What have I done? You shout at me for hitting me dad. I know, I'm sorry. Look, come out, I want to talk to you. I only hit him because he hit me, ma'am. He always does it. He, he said he was going to burn the house down. You don't have to worry about that. I won't let him. Here, I bought you a parka. I didn't half give him a belt, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. But do you want it or what? No. Stick it in the bin then. Abdul? Yeah. Can I have another look at our Salim's model? No! Oh, Sam. 